What's going on guys? It's nice to see your shining faces. Uh, today's video is going to be pretty short. I just want to share something exciting that I have been working on with a couple of my colleagues. As you can probably tell by the title, today's video is about pharmacy residencies, specifically changing the social norms around them. As many of you probably know, it's extremely difficult to be on the other side of that email when that match email comes in and you didn't match. And at the time, you and potentially even now, you ask yourself questions like, how do I pay off my loans once I graduate? You know, once the loan payments start coming in, how do I make money? Um, what should I do for a whole year while waiting to reapply to a residency? Should I start looking for a job? Should I apply for a master's? Why do I feel like a failure? Those are the exact questions I asked myself when I didn't match for a PGY-1 in 2013. Granted, I was very fortunate in that I did end up finding a PGY-1 in the scramble a few weeks later. but. Um, I can certainly empathize with everyone who's been in that position because that day and every day afterwards feels really, really long. However, why should anyone feel like that? You know, why do we have it so that it feels as though a pharmacy residency is the expectation after graduating from pharmacy school? At least that's my impression. Well, I think it's time we change that. And to be clear, I'm not advocating against residency. What I'm trying to say is that we should aim to change that expectation that residency is the only path. There, it's, a, it's certainly a great path. I went through it myself. But there are also so many other pathways that lead to many, many other successful paths and careers. That's the goal. In the last few weeks, I've been having some great conversations and discussions with a couple of my colleagues uh, who are equally, if not more, personally invested in this topic. And you've probably seen some of them around. They are quite active on social media, and I'm talking about David Vu, Beiju Shah, Tony Dow, and Tuan Vu. With that said, we have been discussing creating content geared towards changing this expectation and also providing practical tips and advice and stories to share on what we all did when we didn't match for residency. And kind of the purpose for this video is to introduce you all to the first piece of content that will be released by Tony Dow on his podcast, Pharmacy ITME. I'll link it in the description below. Uh, but he's going to release a podcast. Do check it out. It will be released on June 12th, it's Wednesday, I believe. Um, but we hope that that will be the first of many pieces of content that we plan to create over the next few weeks to months. And uh, yeah, stay tuned. We, we're, we're all personally invested into this and we, we all want to create content to share with others uh, how to navigate this time in your life. And lastly, before I go, uh, I want to share with you and equation that I've learned in my own personal journey. And that equation is that happiness is equal to expectations minus reality. If the expectation currently is that all pharmacy students pursue pharmacy residency after pharmacy school, and usually over 30% of all of those pursuing residency do not match, we're left with a lot of unhappy, and potentially depressed pharmacists. And that shouldn't be the case. You know, no one should be made to feel that way. And so the goal of these videos and our future content, be it podcasts, blogs, um, videos, whatever it may be, we hope to change that expectation. And the expectation is that residency is a great path but then, as I've stated earlier in the video, there are many, many other paths. And that is what we hope to highlight, share, and, you know, change the social norms. As a message to all of you, I hope that you all will follow us along in this journey and support our movement. 
All right, guys, um, until next time. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in and watching the video. If you like the content, definitely hit the Impro RX button over to your left to subscribe and definitely check out more videos over here uh, to your right. Now, as always, if you have questions, comments, and even better, suggestions for future videos, definitely let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, until next time, guys.